and let's dissect last week's picks. And once again, it's a meatloaf week. My case, two out of three ain't bad. Get it? <laughs> yeah, we were dead on as far as the Ohio versus Kansas game. We said Ohio would cover. They did by double digits. Also said, too, that Texas Tech, Arizona State would make it over the 76 points, and they did easily. So there's two wins right there. The coin was wrong on both those games. We both, however, lost on the Kentucky and South Carolina matchup. So overall for the season, I'm at 5-4 and four above 500, while the coin coming off a winless week of 0-3 drops to 3-6. and six. All right, everybody, time now for my three picks. This is when me and the almighty coin pick three games against the spread, and at least one member of our studio audience is anxiously eager for these picks. Let's go ahead and begin with the game in Stillwater between Oklahoma State and TCU. Both undefeated, both in the top 20 in the case of Oklahoma State, up to number six. Oklahoma State with a Heisman Trophy candidate in Mason Rudolph and a high-flying offense with a good running attack and the deepest group of receivers in college football, led by James Washington. Yes, TCU, I know they've played well, played better than what we thought, and I know that they have Gary Patterson coaching them, but Kenny Hill, he's been known for his, you know, periods of inconsistency. He's played well so far this season, but throughout his career, he's also been known as an interception king, so you still never know what you're going to get from that guy. Plus, Kyle Hicks, we don't know if the TCU running back is going to play game-time decision. Even if he does, I have a feeling he's not going to be 100%. Obviously, a disadvantage for the Horn Frogs. And plus, Oklahoma State in recent years has played well against TCU, whether on the road or at home. So, give me the Cowboys, minus the 12.5 points. And the coin that lands on heads that likes the uh, favorite tails is going to go with the underdog. And the coin is going to go with Oklahoma State as well. Let's go to Arlington. That's right, Cowboys Stadium, Jerry's World. It is Texas A&M against Arkansas. And A&M, you talk about a team that's played well against another in recent years. Well, A&M has had Arkansas's number, you know, for the most part since they've moved this game to Arlington. Arkansas, so far, um, not very impressed with them at all. I know A&M blew that humongous lead against UCLA. But to me, it's going to come down to the ground attack, and I think A&M is going to rely on it and rely on it quite a bit. The Arkansas Razorbacks, I just don't have a good feeling about them in this game. And the spread is small. It seems like a trap. But I'm going to say that Texas A&M with the ground attack and not enough offense by Arkansas takes care of business. So give me the Aggies minus the three in the battle of hot seat coaches right now. We don't know if someone or Bielema will be back next year for their respective teams. But some of them will emerge on this day at least. So give me the Aggies minus the three. And the coin is going to go with Texas A&M too. And finally, East Lansing, Michigan. Remember when Michigan State was good? Remember they, they were a college football contender? Well, last year, of course, they absolutely fizzled to a losing record, as did Notre Dame. But Notre Dame shows more signs uh, that they can get all the way back eventually. Maybe not this year, but they'll have a winning campaign at least this year. Michigan State still young in some spots. Notre Dame, in this case, is only giving three points. I like Notre Dame's odds, so give me the Fighting Irish minus the three and the coin. It's going to take Notre Dame. <laughs> Ashley Buck, we're done picking for the week, okay? My three picks is in the bag for the week of September the 23rd. Those were my picks. What were yours? A reminder, speaking of football, on this very web page, check out my Oklahoma versus Baylor postgame. It will appear sometime on Sunday. And again, join me next time for another edition of my three picks. That's right, three games against me and the almighty coin. It'll be a lot of fun. Believe me.